Adina Angelescu, jurnalist de investigații. Nu de bine Adina Angelescu, investigativ journalist. victime din dosar de două săptămâni într-una tipă. Domnule, scoteți-mă din dosar. It doesn't look good for the prosecutor's file when the two victims in the file for a week are yelling. Sir, take me out of the file. Take me out of the file. I don't want to leave their house. I'm not a victim. Nobody forced me to do anything. I saw what Miss Jasmina said. I told the prosecutors I'm not a victim, even though the prosecutors say I am a victim. I'm going to ask you to tell us about this very interesting part that the prosecutors gave us from sources. We have been asking for a month. Sir, where are the crimes that could end up in confiscation of assets and their wealth? And now suddenly they are adding this money laundry thing. <coughs> the extension of the criminal prosecution in REM on the act. Right. But you also have to find the dirty money somewhere because that's money laundering. Okay, so I would like to point out from the beginning that I know what was written in the conclusion on the 10th of January, that is, in the case of the citizen from the United States, which I believe was rather used as an arrow. That's your opinion. It is my opinion. Why do I say that? So, the woman from the United States, Let's take it one step at a time, like this and very quickly. She was in Romania for six days, from 5th to 11th of April. It is clear from the documents and the data in the file. Before coming to Romania, she had met Tristan Tate in America and stayed with him for a week. She tried to get to know him really hard. She paid a lot of money to get into an event. She was supposedly invited because she was already living with Tristan Tate. This is new data. Then she came to Romania. Afterwards, she called her mother and her ex-boyfriend to tell them that no, the country is beautiful, so now I'm quoting. The country is beautiful, but she doesn't like the Tate brothers' behavior, that she was expecting something different and was going to leave and so on. What is certain is that the mother and her ex-boyfriend spoke to the authorities with the embassy, but when they asked her back in April, she said there was no problem, so that's why they let them go. After that, she made friends, and this is also clear from the document that I read from the reasoning report of the Court of Appeal. It is clear that she made friends with the woman from the Republic of Moldova. I think that behind this file, and that really ties in with what you are saying about cryptocurrencies, from the cryptocurrency business they became millionaires in euros, and if you want to think about something else, is the case of Sam Bachman Fried, who was the king of cryptocurrencies. I think the general knows better. He was arrested in December 2022. Attention, in December 2022, they also became defendants. 29th of December, they were coming out of the court headquarters handcuffed, and some is now being investigated by United States. Because in that case, it's about artificial cryptocurrency, a lot of money that end up uh, with politicians through loans. I think it's about something much bigger and much broader. Sorino Vidubalan, investigative journalist. Good evening. You still think that we keep on discussing this case for about a month. You still think that there is an interference and involvement of the intelligence services in this case when you see that two of the victims, the most important ones that everyone is talking about now, suddenly they got defenders from the United States, pam pam, so to say. 100% is interference. I don't know if interference, but an interest. No, 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 it's interference, black on white. And I can vouch that this interference does not come from our homeland. I mean, we are simply executing the order we received to arrest them. That's your opinion, you have no evidence. We are scratching our heads and we are trying to find out why we arrested them. From the information that I gathered over there, sitting in the cold, there are also two rogatory commissions, meaning a formal request from a court to a foreign court for some type of judicial assistance, in two important states in Europe. If you really want one is the UK, I was expecting that. United Kingdom, sorry, Great Britain. 
Because Aliona, I'm sorry, because one of the girls in, is in the UK and it seems the other one from the United States followed the path to Great Britain as well on the 16th of April. There, at the General Detention Center of Romanian Police, the conditions of detentions are worse than prison. The British consul goes to visit them, then an American consul as well, plus the economic attaché. Leave that on, how he is the most important. People say that the economic attaché might be MI6. But tell me how Puyu Popovic, a Romanian citizen irrevocably convicted in Romania and incarcerated in the UK, the British don't let him go because he might catch a cold in Jelava, a Romanian prison, and they leave the Tate brothers to be eaten by bedbugs. Well, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to interfere in the Romanian courts of justice? At least move them to somewhere with human conditions.